Hi everybody, let's do one more quick video before I lose sunlight. Let's talk about two plants that are often mistaken for each other, but that are both edible so it doesn't matter. Clover and Oxalis. Here is a pretty poor, pitiful example for Oxalis. Um, the leaves close up at night. Look at there. They have sort of a, a heart-shaped leaf. I wish this camera would focus closer up. But the, the leaf is sort of heart-shaped, and it will have three of them when it's open. Yoink. And it looks quite like a clover, but this is an oxalis, also called a wood sorrel. Now there's another edible plant called sorrel, um, and they have a similar taste to wood sorrel, but sorrels and wood sorrels are, are different. Now I'll do sorrels in a, another video, but these are wood sorrels. Let's find a better example. Here's some happy daytime oxalis right there, not folded up. That's what it should look like. Get out of there, grass. Nobody wants you. Now, when it comes to between clovers and oxalis, I really like the taste of oxalis better. They have sort of a tangy, uh, almost lemony taste. And uh, let me pick one off. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. I, I like it. I just eat that stuff. They do have um, oxalic acid, you know, oxalis, oxalic acid. And um, you're always warned about getting too much oxalic acid in uh, in foraging circles. I'm not sure what I think about that because you can find it in a lot of supermarket foods too and they don't warn you about it there but anyway that's neither here or there right now. It's a good plant, a yummy plant. I like it raw. I like just to nibble on it out in the yard but it would be great on a salad just to give it a little extra tangy. I, I, I think it's a little lemony almost. Um, and the only real look-alike for oxalis, oh, you know what, oxalis will have uh, these wood sorrels, the kind that are so common around here where I live, um, they'll have these little yellow flowers. Let me show you an oxalis that I got from a plant store. This guy's a kind of oxalis. Now it's, it's just got these sort of heart-shaped leaves. Um, and this one has sort of a pinkish white flower. Of course, it's getting nighttime, so it's, it's closing up. But I have seen these out. I don't know if these were escaped from somebody's garden when, when I've seen them, uh, or if or if they are native around here. But I sure don't see this type nearly as often as I do the little bitty green ones. Okay, we've looked at oxalis. Let's go look at a clover. Okay, I've spotted the blooms before I spotted the plant. This is, I think, this is what they call a Dutch clover or, or something similar. <clears throat> it looks similar if it's not exactly that. Of course, they have the three leaves. These aren't quite so heart-shaped, and uh, you can eat these too. They're, they are different plants, even though they look similar. Uh, they're in different families. Clovers will add nitrogen to the ground. Uh, they're nitrogen-fixing. Uh, they, I think they're a legume. I think they are. Uh, and oxalis don't do that. Uh, but oxalis tastes better. And, you know, honestly, I, I don't eat clover very much. My kids do. They like them, but I, I don't. You can eat the blossom, just like the oxalis. You can eat the stem. You can eat the leaf. I'm pretty sure you can eat the roots, but I've never, ever tried that. Um, and they're, both plants are like that. Um, let me find you an example of another clover, a uh, crimson clover. Okay, here, it doesn't look pretty anymore because it, it's past the, the pretty blooming. Uh, these are just going to be the, the seeds of it. So I guess I could collect these and spread this around, but I'm not real worried about it. Um, these stand up a lot taller, and you wouldn't want to put these down just in your yard if you're going to mow, because they're going to grow up and you're going to mow them before they can make the seeds, and then they will all die out after a little while. The, uh, the Dutch clover is a lot shorter to the ground, and it can survive mowing better. Ooh. Clover, you can eat raw. You can, but it's tougher. It's a little harder to digest. And if you eat a whole lot of it, it'll probably give you a stomach ache. Um, but you can. And I'd love to rattle off a bunch of ways that you can prepare clover, but I really don't mess with it very much. It's super abundant, and it does have nutrition to it. I just don't care for the taste myself. It's not terrible, it's just... Nah. And it really is a matter of preference, because you know, my kids like clover, or I like the oxalis. So... You know, go to your yard, pull up some, chew on it, and see what you think.
simple salad with some oxalis wood sorrel and some clovers and some homemade dressing um, I like to try to make homemade dressing but I'm not very good at it and I am really not hungry I'm still full from my purse lane pizza from that other video get a bite that has some oxalis and some clover Salad dressing is not that great. Homemade. I'm working on it. The oxalis is good. Nice little tang, tang bit. The clover, I just personally don't care for clover that much. That's just me. Okay, there you go. Oxalis, or wood sorrel, and clover.